With rising increases in CO2 emissions around the globe, there is urgent need for us to cut carbon emissions and produce more eco-friendly vehicles. And that brings up these two potential solutions – electric vehicles and biofuel vehicles. As we may all know, electric vehicles do not have their own internal combustion engines, but rely on rechargeable batteries and theoretically reduce the amount of carbon emissions in the atmosphere. Whereas biofuel is simply any fuel derived from biomass, and both biofuel and fossil fuels produce carbon emissions. But since biofuel is made from crops, these crops take up CO2 from the atmosphere as they grow, and when they're burned in a vehicle engine, that CO2 is released back into the atmosphere, producing no net carbon emission, unlike petroleum, whose carbon has been trapped underground for millions of years, so when burned, new CO2 is added into the atmosphere. So now, which is better? Telling people that buying an electric car to fight climate change is the fastest and pretty reliable way of starting an argument. And people will say that you still burn fossil fuels with electric cars, it's just it happens at a power plant instead of at the vehicle's engine. While different groups of people have different views on this, car manufacturers like Tesla, Audi, Ford and so on are pushing for electric cars. Charging infrastructure is growing and batteries are slowly getting cheaper. But Bill Gates believes that biofuel is a better solution, since it doesn't need heavy and expensive batteries and produces zero net carbon, and can be derived from sources such as sugar, starch, vegetable oil and even algae. While Elon Musk quoted, Biofuels such as ethanol require enormous amounts of cropland and end up displacing either food crops or natural wilderness, neither of which is good. As you see, different people have different views on this topic. It's worth noting that biofuel releases the same amount of CO2 into the atmosphere as fossil fuel, but when the plants grow, they capture it from the atmosphere to be used as fuel again. For electric cars, if built with the right infrastructure, they can be as efficient as a gas-powered car, but powered by electricity generated without fossil fuels or coals, then they could avoid greenhouse gases entirely. For biofuel vehicles to be truly and completely carbon neutral would mean growing the plants would also have to be carbon neutral, which rules out many crops that require fertilizers, a big contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. So for biofuel to be entirely carbon neutral, it would have to be made from either plant waste or plants that do not require fertilizer to grow. Biofuels can be shipped and stored using the same infrastructure as gasoline, and used in the same gasoline cars with just some few minor modifications instead of scrapping the car entirely. Converting existing vehicles to run on biofuel rather than scrapping them and making new vehicles would be way less damaging to the environment. For a fuel to be the best option, people also have to be able to afford it. In some places, electric cars can already be cheaper overall despite the higher cost of the car. Another throwback for biofuel is resources. Growing plants for food is a necessity. Growing food for power is something else entirely, and considered by some as a waste of water, an already scarce resource in the modern world. Compared to other sources of energy, biomass energy uses much more water. On average, biomass has a water footprint of 72 times more than fossil fuel and 240 times more than solar energy, while over 80% of our fresh water usage already goes to agriculture. So increasing biomass crops for biofuel would push this even higher, putting more strain on an already limited resource. So the best option should be the one that is the most affordable to consumers and the most sustainable for the planet. There we have our comparison. So after watching this, which one do you think is better, electric or biofuel vehicles? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching once again, and we'll see you in the next video.